We have the Roku streaming stick. This is the 2016 model. It is now smaller and faster. This is a quad core version of the Roku streaming stick. The old one could feel a little bit sluggish in comparison to its bigger brothers that are you know, uh, running uh, a processor that uses more power and um, can handle things like 4K in the Roku uh, 3. This one here is, yeah, new new and faster. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Very uh, vibrant green. Roku has always kind of liked colors like you know, purple, now green. So right here you have the Roku streaming stick. Uh, you can see it looks like a little bit longer than a USB drive. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> it doesn't want to... Okay, you got to pop it out. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Has a reset button on the side. Micro USB. There. Yeah. Pretty nice. They have a manual. Yep, that's a manual. Oh, and here we go. This is the, this is the interesting stuff. You got the. It actually comes with a charger. Huh. Some things like the Chromecast do not come with a charger. That's nice. It has the USB cable and it has a right angle connector. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice feature. That's a nice touch. That uh, it makes it so it just doesn't stick out funny when you're plugging this into the TV. It has Duracell branded batteries for the remote and it has the uh, usual cloth little tag here. That's I always like that touch. And notice this remote does not have the headphone jack on it. And the buttons they've ha they have here are new and different. Google Play, YouTube, Netflix, and Spotify. Hmm, that's a little better than the previous buttons because I don't really remember what the old remote had because I never used them. I think it had Netflix and I don't have a Netflix subscription anymore, but if I did, it would be handy. But YouTube, Google Play, excellent. I don't use Spotify myself, I use Google Play Music, but those are all much more relevant to what people are using now. The remote, uh, this one, you know, it has a nice feel to it, and maybe it's because I don't have the batteries in it, but it feels a little cheaper made, pla like a little cheaper plastic than the previous remotes, and I'm guessing it's because this is a cheaper remote in comparison to the ones that have the headphone jack. This is a, just a cheaper skew where they used little cheaper parts all around. Um, I don't think it has things like, uh, I think the Roku 3 has a gyroscope of some sort or some sort of motion uh, thing in it. And this one um, is pretty much just a remote. Stripped down, simple, but it keeps the price low. This, this guy is only 50 bucks. I think 40 if you are in the US or in other territories that transact in US dollars. I paid 50 Canadian, which is a reasonable price for this guy. Anyways, I will be uh, enjoying this. Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.